Um, my name will be Moses. And uh, Moses is kind of a key person in these stories, isn't he? Is he, is he like, happen? Is he, ha- is he there a lot in the stories? Yes, Moses is there a lot in the stories. And he wears a black hat, just like this. Okay? Cowboy, kind of like a cowboy. And, uh, you know, because in the desert they have, you know, he's, he's old. You know how old Moses is right now? You know how old he is right now? 120 years old. Now, normally 120-year-old people don't, don't walk upright like this. They kind of walk like this because your bones start sagging after a while. Like Yoda, yes. That's <laughs> very helpful um, visual there. All right, so I got to talk like Moses. You ready? Hey, kids, how you doing today? I'm good. My name is Moses, and I'm 120 years old, and I need to tell you something. I believe in God. I do. You know why? I've seen him. Yeah. You guys might not have seen him before, but I've seen him. I've hung out with God a lot. Yeah, it's cool. I actually saw his, his, the, back of his, his, the back of his head some one time, and then my face glowed for a long time, and everybody was really scared, and they put a sheet over my face until the glow went away, and then I was normal again. But I've seen God, you know, so that's why I believe in him. Have you guys seen God? No. See, See, that's what I was worried about. See, at the end of my life, when I was 120 years old, I thought about all them Israelite people, like, you know, all three, four, five, six million of them. And I thought, you know, some of these kiddos, some of these whippersnappers haven't seen God like I've seen God. And so I decided to start at the beginning, in the beginning. So uh, I sat down at the, 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 the desk, not like this, but kind of like this, and in a chair like this, but not like this. And I decided to write a book. Well, not just one book, five books. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Yeah, sounds like a cool name, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And so I told them Israelites, I said, in the beginning. <clears throat> Sorry, sometimes this happens to me. In the be- what? what did I just say? I can't remember things sometimes. Oh, in the everybody, I, I, you got to help me out here. In the I, I didn't hear all of you guys. I know my hearing's bad. You got to speak up a little bit louder. Please, please don't, please don't yell because it might make me have a stroke. In the Okay, and, and here's the key word that I need you guys to understand. You ready? God. In the beginning, everybody? God, exactly. And, and you write God like this. Like that. Now see, I believe in God because I've seen God, but a lot of you guys haven't seen God, have you? And so that's why I told this story, because I was worried that them Israelites, that they would forget about God, because they hadn't seen him. So I wrote about how God in the beginning created the whole world, and it's really special. And he, he made seven days of creation. On the seventh day, he took a big nap, because that's what you're supposed to do on the seventh day. And that's one of the Ten Commandments, is to make sure on the seventh day you take a, because that's important. And then after he created everything, he created man on the sixth day. And man was really, 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 really special because he looked like God. Can you guys say, wow, I look like God. Yeah, yeah, that's really fun. So every time you look in the mirror, guess what? You're reminded of what? Who looks like? Exactly. Well, but mankind, we decided to not follow God and we decided to follow ourselves. That was horrible because the Israelite people that hang out with me, they're always complaining and complaining and complaining and complaining. And I can't stop him complaining. At one time, I wanted to hit him with a stick. But instead, I hit a rock and I disobeyed God. And, and I have to die and not go into the promised land. But anyway, I'm sad about that. But oh well. Sometimes you make mistakes, right? Yeah. Does God forgive you? Yeah. Anyway, God created man. And we decided to follow ourselves. And, and, and now we are all sinful. 
You guys ever hear the word sinful? Everybody say, say the word sinful. Say, I'm bad. And that's not a good thing. I'm bad. Everybody say, I'm bad. And, and sin, sin entered the world and God can't hang out with sin, so he had to send the people out of the garden. And then Adam and Eve had a boy named Cain and the boy named Abel, and then sin was bad, and so Cain killed his brother Abel because he didn't like him. Uh-oh. Sin's not good, is it? Killing people's not good. And then people were doing really bad things, really bad things, and God had to send this really big flood and kill everybody on the earth except for Noah. Noah. You see, I had to tell the Israelites these stories so they knew, they knew that if they kept doing the bad stuff, that God was going to do something about it, right? Yeah. And anyway, so God saved Noah and a bunch of animals and a big boat called the Ark. And then he put a rainbow in the sky and said, I'll never flood the earth again. Which means when God says it, he means it. Oh, good job. Yes. Yes, I know. That Jeremy guy's kind of weird sometimes. Anyway, um, and, and, and then they decided to all stay in one place because God told them to scatter throughout the whole earth and fill it up because the earth is pretty big, right? But they wanted to stay in one spot and they were trying to build a tower. And God said, I don't think so. And so he said, okay, you're going to speak French. You're going to speak Swahili. You're going to speak Pigeon, which is actually a real language, by the way. And you're going to speak English. And they couldn't understand each other, so they couldn't build the city, and then they scattered throughout all the earth. Well, see, God this whole time is trying to fix people. He's trying to fix them because they're broken, right? Are we broken? Did we mess up in the garden, Haley? Oh, how did I know your name? Oh, I'm smart. <laughs> yes, we messed up. And so God decided, well, I need to pick one guy, and his name is Chance is not his name, but your name must be Chance, right? How are you doing, Chance? Are you up here for the summer? you have a special day today? Are you visiting your cabin on Memorial Day weekend? No, just hanging out. You don't have a cabin either? Oh, okay, me neither. Sometimes old people, get we get lost in our thoughts sometimes. Anyway, is Abraham, he, 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 God picked Abraham to be the father of the big nation, and he promised the three Ps. Did, did that Pastor Jeremy guy tell you about the three Ps? That's pretty important. I wrote about the three Ps. And the first one is people. Hey, you guys know this stuff. He must have done a good job teaching you guys stuff. People, place, yes, and what, what, and presence. You know that, young man. Good job. I heard, I heard he gives you fives. Will you give me a five? Oh, that's really cool. Okay, that's good. Anyway, Abraham. And then Abraham had a kid named Isaac, and then Isaac had a kid named, two kids actually, they were twins, Jacob and Esau, Esau, Jacob stole the, the first place from Esau, so now Jacob got changed his name to Israel later on by who? God. Yeah, boy, God's really doing some interesting stuff, isn't he? Jacob had how many sons? Do you know how many sons Israel had? Jacob had Emma? Say, say 12. 12, exactly. See, all this stuff is very important. I wrote it in the book of Genesis. 12, Abraham... Isaac, Jacob, 12 kids, Israel, very, very, very important. Three Ps. One of Jacob's sons, his name was what, Isaiah? What was one of Jacob's sons' names? Aaliyah? Joseph, yeah, Joseph was pretty special. He got sent into slavery into a country called Egypt. Yeah. Is Egypt a fun place? Yeah. It was awesome. You know why it was awesome, Joey? Jacob? You know why Egypt was awesome? Because they had pyramids and sand and a pharaoh. And they had lots of food. And so that's why Jacob's whole family went to went to Egypt so they could eat some food. Exactly. Hey kiddos, whippersnappers, Isaiah, if you want to do a good job in that Oreo Bible quiz next week that, that Pastor Jeremy's talking about. You should listen to the things he's telling you right now because he's telling you the answers. Oh, you didn't know that? I'm telling you the answers so that way you can do good and get lots of Oreo cookies next week with that Jeremy guy. Anyway, anyway, and Joseph ended up in Egypt and then um, and Israel ended up in Egypt and after 400 years, Pharaoh didn't like the Israelites anymore and he made them slaves. And this is where I come into the picture. This is when I wrote the book of Exodus. 
so fun. I like writing. Exodus. And that's the story of God saving Israelites. There's like a bunch of million of them, and he picked me to do it. It was all weird. I didn't like it when he picked me at first, but then I kind of filled out the role a little bit, and I just, what I had to do was just listen to God because I saw him. Clayton, Mr. Clayton, hey, can you pay attention for me? I'm the one who's got a stick, okay? Watch out. Yeah, yeah, I know this is kind of a blunt object. Anyway, um, I would never use the blunt object. I just like talking about the blunt object. Anyway, where was I at? I forgot where I was. Oh, me! Me! Yeah. I listen to God because I, everybody say this with me, I believe in God. I, got, I want you to know that I believe in God. Do you know why? Do you know why that's so important? Do you know why that's so important, mister? No idea? I know, mister. Jackson, do you know why believing in God is so important? Okay, I see. Do you have any idea? See, that's why, most, that's why I'm writing this book, because I need to chance. Okay, yeah, he rocks. Like a rock? That's kind of weird, but that's cool. Yeah, I guess it must be something you guys say a lot, huh? Anybody, Megan, you know why God rocks? No? Emma? Whoops, sorry, I stepped on that really cool book that I wrote of you. Yeah, okay, yep. Oh, she said because he's the one who made us. Is he like the, the boss of everything? Yeah. So anyway, Miss Kathy, could you put them words on the screen or China or whoever's up there? Yeah, in my book of Deuteronomy, I wrote this. I said, listen, Israel, with your ears. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is alone. Next picture that you do up there, space bar. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. And you must commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these commands that I'm giving you today. Repeat them again and again to your children. Talk about them when you're at home watching TV and playing your iPods. And when you're on the road, walking to school or driving the bus. When you are going to bed and when you're getting up for coffee. Oh, I mean cereal. Tie them to your hands and wear them on your foreheads. Like, um, I don't know, tattoos. Okay. And the next one, oh, write them on your doorpost of your house and on your gates. That's pretty important, isn't it? You see, the whole point of this God thing, Clayton, is to love him. God does not want us just to believe in him. God wants us to, what, Aaliyah? Love him. Say it really loud. Love him. Yeah, God wants us to. Okay, you guys aren't getting it yet. Yeah. My name is Moses, I'm 120 years old, and I believe in God. But just believing in God is, well, God exists whether you believe in him or not, right, Xavier? Yes. So now what is your job as God's people? To love God, Mr. Mister, you did a good job, Colin, you did it all by yourself. All right, let's see if everybody else can do it, ready? Your job is not just to believe in God, because he exists. your job is to love him. love him, exactly. If you don't love God, you're not going to listen, obey, or do anything else. That's what I wanted to tell the Israelites because if the Israelites didn't believe in God or love God, then guess what? They were not going to do very well at all. Do you know why they weren't gonna do very well at all? Because they wouldn't care. You guys ever get to the point where you just don't care? This doesn't matter, I don't care. I wanted to make sure that they would care. Let's pray and talk to this God that we believe in and love. God, Yahweh, we love you. And we have to say that a lot so that way we actually do it. Help us to love you. Help us to obey you. And thank you that you saved us out of that Egypt place. 
you rescued us. And we're really sinful. We mess up a lot. We complain and gripe like all them Israelites do. I know these people don't do that kind of stuff, but, but maybe they do. And so when we disobey you, God, help us to ask for your forgiveness and help us to love you because that's what you want from us. You want us to, to love you. God, we are so grateful that you love us and take good care of us. In Yahweh's name we pray.